Hey how's it going everyone this is DCSU81 and today I'm going to do a review for this BMS Return of the King Yes this is a third party company that is actually making this Return of the King but it is actually the Kingdom Come Superman and ever since I saw this poster for the Kingdom Come when I was uh, young <laughs> I actually fall in love with how surreal it is of all these superheroes that they um, drew it like a real human being so even though they are old but it looks very realistic so when I saw prototype pictures of this BMS Return of the King wow it actually blew me away and let's take a look at the box again well it's a very nice simple looking box they actually do like a silhouette of the Superman just to make sure they don't get into trouble with the copyrights so it actually says age 15 and up not a toy for children at the side here we have some quotes and it is actually all over the side <laughs> it's all the same and at the back we do have some warning saying that it's not suitable for children under three years old due to small parts blah 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 choking hazard over here not a toy it's adult collectibles i like this word here <laughs> and made in china of course so let's open it up And let's just take a closer look of this beauty. Wow, this is really something else. I didn't think that this is a third party. It looks really, really good. And upon taking it out, I would like to show you guys how amazing it is with the wrapping. <laughs> you can see, wow, so much plastic is being used just to make sure that uh, all the clothing is actually well maintained by the time it reaches us. This is really, even the hands have its own plastic. <laughs> oh my god, will you look at that? Okay, so let's take it off one by one. And now, will you look at that? This is really Returns of the King. <laughs> wow, it looks really amazing. I mean, the tailoring isn't 100%, but upon up close, you can see that it's really quite well done for a third party. I kind of like these Superman symbols here. It's very, very nice. I just hope that it's maybe slightly bigger then you will look more awesome and this gold is beautiful wow <laughs> just love the red underwear on the outside and this whole thing actually feels very nice it's like a really can't put it into words what you call it it's very very smooth something like a silk <laughs> of course i know it's not a real silk but it just feels very good upon holding on it yes and the boots just looks very good wow it's like a I think this is a rubber or yeah it feels like a rubber and wow this whole thing is very nice and one thing I do have a grab on is the cape although it feels like a very nice material just like all this uh the suit it feels like the same material just different color but it does <laughs> looks cheap in a way <laughs> but don't get me wrong it does drapes over his shoulders naturally which makes this figure looks even better and I was kind of hoping that they have the Superman symbols at the back as well maybe it doesn't have in the comic I'm not so sure but wow we can just take a look it does looks very nice of course it doesn't have any bendy wire so it will be a problem if you were to pose him flying <laughs> you will have to do some works on the cape so let's take a look at the heads wow this is really really good you even have all the white hairs here it's looking very nice really bring out the best looking uh, superman like the it set already aged yeah this is really good looking my goodness Whew. so in overall i would say that this superman is looking awesome 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 and next i'll move on to the articulation start with the head as always so he can turn to the right turn to the left looking up wow pretty good looking down not too bad you can even tilt his head if you want to now this is where the worries come because the entire body is covered in the suit <laughs> so you have to be very careful when you're articulating this guy you don't want to break any seams here so his arm can go all the way up and there is a slight butterfly joint here and arm shivers, double joint elbow and his arm can also go up yep about 90 degrees there please don't force it when it can't go all the way up because you actually break some seams like here 
and he can turn his hand around and I believe there are two points of articulations here so his waist he can turn and his torso as well let's see how well this superman can bend forward not too bad and bending backwards wow I think it's even better kicking forward wow this is really good about 90 degrees kicking backwards yeah just slightly so you can shiver his tight a double joint knee you can shiver on his boot as well his leg is on the ball joint so you can turn around but there isn't any toe hinges on the shoes and last but not least let's see how well this superman can do a split wow a perfect split <laughs> will you look at that so wow this superman does have a superb articulations this is rather rather surprising Okay, so for the accessories, I will start with the hand. So he just comes with a pair of closed fist hand that is already on the figure, a pair of open palms hands, a pair of grabbing hands, and lastly, a pair of karate chops hand or the Superman flying pose hands. And that's basically what he comes with. <laughs> Only interchangeable hands, no effects parts, no extra heads. I was actually hoping that he just comes with an extra head with the eyes on red color like he's you know trying to do the laser eyes even with the same expression i'm okay just with the red eyes all over that will be awesome okay right now i'm going to show you how to interchange the hand basically you just pull it out like this and somehow the joint is hidden by the clothes so it's not broken don't worry about it so you just put it back in like this and it's as simple as that do click on the likes button if you enjoy this video and next i'll move on to some size comparison let's start off with all the supermans that i have and most of them are from mayfax so i have this hush superman as well as this the dark knight returns superman and still on the mayfax i have this the returns of superman as well as this cyborg superman wow i do think that they scale pretty well and my last batch of Mayfax Superman, I have this Henry Cavill Superman, okay, which is uh, shorter than him, as well as this the Jack Snyder Superman. Wow, this is awesome. And still on the Mayfax, I'd like to compare with some other characters. I have this Christopher Nolan's Batman, yeah, Christian Bill, as well as this Homelander. Wow, he's pretty short <laughs> as compared to him. And next, I'd like to move on to some Marvel Legends. I have this classic, iconic comic versions of Captain America, as well as this <laughs> Thor. Okay, wow, I think they are slightly taller than him, but it still scale pretty well together. And let's check out some SHV gods. I have this. Captain America which is from the Infinity War as well as this war machine Iron Patriot and they are slightly smaller as compared to him and next I'll compare with some Mesco I have this Cyclops as well as this the Prince of Clown Joker and since this is a custom brand I'm going to compare with some Nota Studio Steve Rogers as well as this Nota Studio Logan and sorry that I kind of miss out one Superman that I have which is this McFarlane Superman yeah in case some of you guys are wondering how his skill of course the McFarlane will always be taller okay so next I would like to talk about the skill for this guy I think some of you guys are always worried that all these third party might always screw up their skills like making it too short or maybe too tall but as you can see from the size comparison just now this superman just scale perfectly with most of the brands i would say wow especially on the mayfax where all the dc character is yeah i think he scaled pretty well and next i'd like to talk about the price for this guy here so he costs around 59 usd including shipping so i actually bought this guy from takara tony the man himself so you should really contact him if you are interested to get this guy because i think it is 
worth the price even though it has very little accessory or maybe even none because it's just interchangeable hands but i think with this outlook and the quality of the body wow i think it's really worth the money okay so my final verdict based on all the star ratings so far is going to be an 8.5 out of 10 yes this guy is pretty badass and he looks good in overall except that for the accessory wise yeah that's pretty lacking i just hope that at least they will have given another more angry head scar for us to interchange or maybe the ones with the laser eyes will be even more badass yeah i think that will do it but otherwise he's almost perfect in every aspect the body the the look the articulations the skill and even the price i think he's well worthy so i really hope they will continue into making this line especially batman and wonder woman by making them looking slightly aged to match this guy here and i'll definitely collect them because they are the trinity of dc universe so i really hope that you enjoy this review and most importantly it shows you what you want to see before buying this guy and i'll catch you again in my next video i would appreciate if you can watch this video right over here